Hello Gothic friends, Razmi is my name. Welcome back to the world's let play of the world, Gothic 1 Unreal Engine. In today's episode I had planned to do the Kremlin quest, but apparently that is bugged in this version, in the Unreal. The third book does not not spawn there where it is supposed to, so we will continue to talk with Sardas about the, the Uritiel that we charge it, and then we will go to the Slippers Temple. I don't know if we should get the ma the magic uh, the magic or the weapon Uritziel, so I have absolutely hey no clue. I've reactivated Uritziel. It's incredible. The sword has regained its former powers. Now you have a really powerful weapon. Thank you. You said there might be a way for me to wield Uritziel, though I'm a magician? Look closely at Uritziel. You'll notice the big blue jewel on the blade. It contains the magical powers of the blade. If I remove the jewel, I'll be able to create a magic rune, which contains the attributes of Uritziel itself. A magic rune made from Uritziel? In battle, the rune will be as powerful as the sword. But don't forget that only a magician of the Sixth Circle will be able to control such a powerful magic rune. Yeah, like us. Yeah, let's do it apparently because we have no level 6 remove magic the jewel power. From Uritziel. This decision is final. Do you really want me to remove the jewel? Yeah, do it. Yes, do it. Since it's what you want. Here, take the empty sword and the rune. Thank you. I'm seeking that. Yeah. So. Venus Rage, because Uritiel is. But this way we can use the Venus Rage and the Uritiel is here. That's how it's looking, okay. So, we have to go back to the Slipper's Temple. Are we powerful enough? Yeah, we are strong enough. We need more mana, health, and just let's go. Show them health. We wanted to speed also. And time for the orcs. Oh, new enemy spawned. Okay, let's test it. Ah, okay. We can move while using the spell. It's not like in the original where you stay still. Ah, because it's a six circle, there are new monsters that spawn, but there is no point for us to kill all the monsters that spawned here. Wolfshock, do you have anything for us? Hey, you! Fred figure. Ah, okay. Figure what? Yeah, Orky works. Oh wow, this looks powerful, I have to admit, yeah, I'm glad that we did this. In the original they really mess it up. But here it makes a lot of sense. Oh, look at this. So powerful. And this is where we saw down below. Yeah, it doesn't take long. More Ucha Cha Cha. This is really fun. So there we need a Telekinesis. Do you guys have anything input for us? No, we have no loot. So, Telekinesis. We made short work of them. We don't need... Okay, why did we do that? Where is it? 
Telekinesis. Is it on zero? Oh, right. It's not like before. You can simply just have it in your inventory. Is this the way? No, it has to be the, the one with the iron gate. Right? Like this one. Yeah, this is the one. So to activate the lever, you need to have the figure in your inventory. But they want to get rid of the sleeper, yet they were praying to him. A bit weird, if you ask me. Oh, light we need again, right? On the 9 we have the light. And we put this on the... Oh, we can on the 4, okay. There's no... Nothing, okay. We need our magic, our magic spell again on the 4. We cannot put that right there on the minus. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go. We have a powerful spell now to be able to kill the undead. I'm very glad that we decided to take the rune. As I said in the original, you have to stay still and use it, and it has a long casting time. So if we want to have a very high level, then we can... And we have the... Yeah. For those guys we have this. So for the undead we have the... The destroy undead. Or other stuff, we have the ritual room. Oh, this is not a spot that we wanted to visit. Yeah, well, sadly, I don't know the right way directly to get there. So, you will have to guys to bear with me. If there is, this is not the right way, then we will have no enemies, right? Yep, looks like it. And back we go. Oh, why, why did he do this one minute only? They should let us use them in bulk. Ooh, this looks so ugly. I mean, not ugly, but scary. Up here should be something, right? I believe this is the way? No. Ah, damn it. I should have probably just checked the way. Oh, we are right at the very beginning. Damn it. What the hell are we doing? We went the wrong way, right? There are skeletons. Are we going in circle? 
Okay, there we were, there we were, but here? We weren't here, right? Or is this also just a tomb? Yeah, that's just a tomb. We are so bad at it, we are very bad at it. And the only way is here. This is too high, right? This is not too high. Or it is. Okay, with the spell you jump differently than without. This might take us to a good spot. Luckily we have the spells to keep running. Oh, this looks like a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end. What in hell? Where is the next spot? Oh, there is something. Minecrawlers, okay, there they are. This might be the right way. We don't have to kill everything. Ooh, I remember correctly, this was the way to go. At least this is one of the ways to go. That's where the guy was and there is nothing else to do there. Okay. But that was a way. Oh, this. It is down here. Or is it the same spot? Ooh, right, right, right here and then to the right where the things opened. Yeah, I should have been much more prepared for. Demon. This is the demon that we keep hearing before, right? Ah, there we are. Way to level up. Well, 36 only. Is the guy going to talk to us or can we simply kill him and then the story advances? How much damage does it do, this spell? I've never checked. Only 200 and takes 10 mana. Ah, okay, he has a spell to free. How many such blades we have? Five. Perfect. Not that we get there and then, oh, we are missing one. Left and right, there is a way. Probably this is linear from now on. Now you'll die. Oh, 1000, yeah. Do you see anything? Now you'll die. Don't ah, apocalyptic yourself. Templar. Yeah, actually that's quite bad if we don't pick them up because we might have some keys that we need. Where is it? Hmm? Do you have anything now? What do we adv uh, uh, advance now? Oh, 
Oh boy, I'm so, such a noob with this. This looks weird. Is it the game bugged or? We are missing something somewhere. How the hell do we open the door? Like for real, how does this door open? We have to put one of those words somewhere. Why, oh why, oh I hate this. Oh, we went to the wrong direction. Here is nothing. What are we missing? How are we supposed to open that door? I'll check one more time around. If not, then phew, probably we have to go back and look at the beginning of it. One of those things is doing something, right? No. Ah, look. Look how stupid old boy. How could we miss those in the first place? Yeah, probably the people that know about it, it's like, wow, you are such a bad graphic fan. Ah, we don't. We just push them in. Okay, I thought they were, they were sticking into the the ground. Look who we have here. Stop your magic. You taught me. Smart decision. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. How okay. did you? The sleeper is not far. I had to use all my powers to get here. I have translated the Orca's prophecies and discovered what the five hearts are about. The five hearts of the priest you defeated were placed in five shrines. These shrines may be opened, but only the ancient blades carried by the priest can harm the hearts. Now you must pierce the hearts with the five blades. Only thus will you be able to drive the sleeper from this world. I understand. Hurry, for the awakening of the archdemon is nigh. The crazed Kor Kalam and his misled disciples are here. They He's falling asleep, right? In the hall of the sleeper. I've bled enough. Nobody can stop me now. The might of the sleeper is growing stronger and stronger. I cannot. What's wrong with you? I must sleep. So that's where we got in. There is a way to the left. The very right. Probably which is the right way. We have to go into all of them. So let's go to the very left as usual. And see where that leads us. Or all the ways lead us here. Now you'll die. Ah. Two hits. I wish they they made it one hit. I mean, what's the point? To two shot them. What's this? This is a spot. Oh wow! What's this? What was that? So close. And we are at the sleep, right? What are the other... The other two? Yeah, I'm really, really curious now. What 
are the other ways about. Another crazy guy. Yeah, just die. So the very left and very right is the way to the sleeper. Yeah, the guy is just sleeping, but what about those? Goodies here or something to read? Oh, a chest? A mummy's okay. Permanent potions. Yeah, we, we don't really need them because we have the magic. But in case we were... ...ranked, okay, so if we use the sword then we could deal a lot of stuff, a lot of damage. I use also the, the potions that we had, the permanent ones, because apparently the game doesn't check. The game checks if you use them and or not, so you you are not affected by using them early on. So permanent potions are are in abundance here. We will collect those and then we go to the sleeper and see what the guy wants with us. What's this? Oh, six and six. Yeah, the crossbow and bow was not needed for us. We still cannot use that. 164 power, that's so much. The potions are so annoying, I really really wish that they were... 5 minutes or we could use more at once. Yeah, this is the sleeper. He made a statue for them also. While the guy forced them. In the submission. More permanent stuff, right? Because we have no clue how powerful the sleeper is, so... We could get much higher, much stronger into the level but no one needs to it doesn't matter now if we level up or not because nobody can teach us here and to get out of here and to use our learning points is just pure crazy so a lot of permanent stuff oh again a six can we use it now Yes, oh, even this one, but not this one. At least we have a powerful or beautiful crossbow now on our back. So much mana and strength. 170 Ooh, mana. Now we can go and meet the big the big bad guy the sword now could be a bit annoying because there are a lot of enemies but the uh, magic now is just perfect Sardas is just sleeping how are we not sleeping and he's sleeping it's a good question right might be that he used all his magic to get in here to the sleeper or do you have anything no just a standard or is it because he's weaker than we are. That's into the heart of the earth here. So now you'll die. Okay. Don't take it personally. Well, not. So this is the sleeper. Looks very nice. Or Kalom, or friend. Good old friend. At last, we meet again. My master has already told me of your arrival. He can sense that you are near. He's I'll awake. Be nearer to him than he would like me to be. 
We will not let you foil our plans. The world is about to witness the awakening of the Redeemer, and nobody can stop him. All the infidels out there will pay the price, and you shall have the honor of being the first to pay. Oh, just of luck, right? Oh boy. Now you're done for. Boy. Can we level up the long sword? Yeah, we killed so many. Oh boy, look at the, their eyes. Oh, here we are, face to face. Need to take a screenshot of this, looks very beautiful. Oh, look at this. What's this? Demon Lord. Ah, right, we cannot do any damage to them because of the... ...their nature of being immortal. Four hits? Yeah, now we can remember, uh, we can understand why this is quite bad in the in the original with the sword, because oh, I mean with the magic. In the original, you cannot move and attack like like now, and the uh, demons can deal quite some damage. So you can do it, but you have to keep running and. No, luckily we have to run, otherwise we would have to stand still and take the hits. Is the sleeper not supposed to do anything? Can we go to him? He put us to sleep, right? Yeah. But with no animation, weird. I would have expected him to be much powerful. Like, he's just sitting there and just sending some demons to us. I wish the, he had some fireballs or something, I don't know. Whatever. He is a weakling. He will not redeem anything. We will redeem his life. So after we killed him now. That's it, right? This is his final role. So loud. That was bullshit. How is the original charge? We discharge it. Well, it looks that's it with the Gothic 1 Unreal Engine version 1. So, it was a fun experience for me, quite short but very fun. Thank you very much guys for joining me, I'll see you in the Gothic 2. And the next playthrough that I'm going to do is going to be Kenshi, a new game that we might enjoy. So, thank you very much guys, have a good day, be cool and bye bye.